Okay, in this example, we want to talk about domain and range. So, domain, sometimes I just capitalize with a D. And there's a D right there. And range, sometimes I just capitalize it with an R. So, D for domain, that means all the things that X can be. So here's our x right here on our axis, and you can think of the domain, you can think of it as your x values, you can think of it as your inputs, you can also think of it as your independent variable, because it's not always x, sometimes it's t, and sometimes it's h, and all sorts of things, so independent variable. Uh, the R, the range, you can think of that as your Y, or using function notation, that's your f of x. It's also your output, and then it's also your dependent variable. So all these are just different words to, way to the way to describe uh, what the range is. Depend, dependent, oops, Okay, so given this equation right here, let's clear this a minute. So given this equation right here, f of x equals, and this is the square root of x minus 4. We'll study some square root functions a little bit later on in the semester. Uh, but this is what the function looks like. You can graph that on your calculator with a standard window and you can look at that. So we want to determine what is our domain and what is our range. So here's how I do it. Um, by looking at the graph, um, and again I have this in front of me, you could have it on your calculator, I think, uh, and I look at it and I think, what are all the things that x can be? Well, here's the function right here shown in green. So that means if I put in 4, or 5, or 6, or 6.5, or 7. If I put in all of these values greater than 4, I have a function up here. If I put in 3, well, there's no function over here. So 3 can't go into my function because nothing came out. 4, 5, 6, and all these values greater than 4 uh, resulted in the function, so those are part of my domain. So I can write it like this x is greater than or equal to 4. I can also write it in interval notation. We'll talk about this in the future. 4 to infinity. But some of you might be familiar with that, so I'll give that to you now. So either form is correct. So x can be greater than or equal to 4. And that means that x can go from 4 to infinity. So that's my domain. So what is my range? What is my output? Well, now I'm going to look on the y scale or the f of x scale, the output scale. So when I put 4 in, I get out 0. When I put 5 in, I get out 1. When I put in 8, I get out 2. Do I ever get out these negative values? No. So the range is never a negative number. The range starts at 0 and goes on up to infinity. So the way I can write that for range is y is greater than or equal to 0. If I want to write it with interval notation, I could write it saying the range starts at 0 and goes up to infinity. 